Let's get right into it now. 8. Your inner monkey grip. Babies grab onto things like their life depends on it. This iron grip is called the Palmer grasp reflex. Put your finger in a baby's palm, and their tiny fingers lock around it like a vice. This isn't just a cute baby thing. It's a leftover survival tool from our monkey ancestors. Imagine a baby monkey millions of years ago. Its mom needs to escape a predator, swinging through trees at high speed. If the baby doesn't hold on tight to mom's fur, it falls and in the jungle. Falling means becoming someone else's lunch. Evolution created this automatic, strong grip for survival. Human babies have this reflex in the womb and keep it for about six months. After birth, they can grip so hard, they could support their own body weight. Their bodies are still prepared for a life in the trees. When something touches a baby's palm, their spinal cord sends an instant, and other organs started moving down into their chests, grab it signal to their fingers. The brain isn't involved. It's like their hand has its own tiny monkey brain, making survival decisions. For those first few months, every baby is basically channeling their inner monkey with their tiny hands number seven, ghost tail wiggles. That weird bone at the bottom of your spine, that's actually the remains of your tail. It's called the coccyx. Humans used to have full-on monkey-style tails. Our ancestors used them for balance, while jumping between trees, and to communicate emotions. Think of it like prehistoric emoji. Tail up meant I'm happy tail down meant. Back off, buddy. But when our ancestors started walking on two legs, the tail became useless. Our tails got shorter until only the coccyx remained. This happened because a piece of DNA jumped around and messed up the tail making instructions. About one in 100,000 babies are still born with a tiny tail, which doctors usually remove. Sometimes this ghost tail tries to wiggle, that random twitch. You might feel at the bottom of your spine. Is your body trying to wag a tail? That's not there anymore. It's like phantom limb syndrome. But for a tail, you never had these ghost wiggles happen because you still have tiny muscles attached to your tailbone that used to control tail movement. They occasionally wake up and try to do their old job, especially when we're stressed or startled. No, six the nerve that took the scenic route. Imagine a phone cable that, instead of going straight from your phone to the wall, first runs down to your basement, loops around a pipe then comes back up to connect. That sounds pretty dumb, but that's what one of your nerves does. It's called the recurrent laryngeal nerve. This nerve starts in your brain, but instead of going straight to your voice box nearby, it takes a wild detour. It goes all the way down into your chest, loops around your body's biggest artery, the aorta, and then finally heads back up to your voice box. This isn't just some random design flaw. It's actually a leftover from when we were fish. In our fishy ancestors, this nerve had a straight shot, from the brain to the gills. Everything was efficient back then, but as these animals evolved onto land, their hearts, instead of the nerve getting a new, more direct route, it just got dragged along for the ride, over millions of years like when you're moving houses, and instead of unplugging your TV cables properly, you just let them get tangled around everything. The craziest part is, the same weird route shows up in all mammals, in giraffes. This nerve takes a 15-foot detour down that long neck, around the heart and back up again. That's like driving to your next-door neighbor's house by first going to the next town over. Evolution doesn't care about efficiency, only good enough no. 5. Skin bumps for no reason. Ever get those tiny bumps on your skin? When you're cold or scared, those are goose bumps they happen because tiny muscles attached to each of your hair follicles, called erector pili, contract and pull your hair straight up. Back when our ancestors were covered in thick fur, these bumps actually did something useful. When they got cold, the puffed up fur trapped warm air close to the skin, like a cozy jacket when danger appeared, making their fur stand on end, made them look bigger and scarier to predators. But now we have barely any body hair. These muscles still flex and create bumps, but there's no fur to stand up. 
It's like trying to raise a flag on a missing pole. Your body is still running this ancient program, but the hardware it was designed for was uninstalled. Ages ago, scientists found these bumps might not be totally useless. After all, when the muscles contract, they signal stem cells in your hair follicles, possibly encouraging hair growth. Your body is still trying to grow a thick fur coat. That evolution canceled long ago. You can get goosebumps from being emotional too. Your body can't tell the difference between being cold. And watching a scary movie, it's like your skin.